He's had outstanding performances in this series, like in game three. And tonight, we'll either have a handshake at center ice if the home team wins. Can they generate some offense by getting the puck in deep? Here's Adrian Kempe, the hero in game five for Los, Los Angeles, scoring the overtime winner in game five in that back and forth contest in Edmonton, a game that the Kings led 3-1 in the third period. Here's Dustin Brown and a save by Smith. Dustin Brown, happy to see you with another good line for the LA Kings. Here's McDavid now, the indirect off the boards, comes back to the Oilers' captain, wraps it around, and scores! Connor McDavid! And the Oilers have the first goal of game six. Well, Connor McDavid started the game with Dreisaitl, and Jay Woodcroft comes right back with him with Evander Kane right here and Hyman on the wrap. Then McDavid speed again, taking him wide, and this is what we've seen all season long and all series long is the speed of McDavid making a difference on the wrap on Jonathan Quick. And Darren, what do you see from down there from the speed of Mc, from McDavid? Yeah. The team that has scored the first goal in every game of this series so far has won that game. Here's Kopitar, back for the Kings. Fires a shot, and Smith is there, and no rebound. For the Edmonton Oilers, and clearly getting that first goal is the start they were looking for. Now only Mata from the wing, knocked down by Smith. The crowd in a frenzy here going into game six. It's been taken a bit out of it by that lightning quick start for McDavid for Stetcher. That shot missing the target. Now here they come again. Dry sidle, and he just was unable to bump it in on the backhand as it bobbled on him a bit on the pass from Kane. Trying to find a way this year as the Oilers are trying to find a way to game seven. And a chance at the front of the net there for Jersey. Well, Uli Mata was questioning whether or not he could pinch down that left side but this is Dursey and that's the reason why he was hesitant his defense partner down low in on Mike Smith just a little backhand play by Athanasiu gets kind of bouncing around there's dirt Yamamoto trying to get it to the blue line he does it pinballs round in front scrambling is quick he gets down to make the stop and now the Kings able to muscle it back out across the line came into this series part way through and he's been a difference maker for the Edmonton Oilers as Nugent Hopkins puts one off the butt and then off the post on the wraparound try there. There by Tyson Berry. There's a shot in and in Archibald coming on the wraparound. It had room there. Daylight on that short side right here and just goes right through the crease. Here's Kane back the other way for Edmondson with McDavid. Kane wait, shoot, see by quick. Hyman quickly back up top to CC and across to Kulak. He'll pump one. They score! Evander Kane in front of Jonathan Quick. And it's 2-0 Oilers. It doesn't matter with who. This is just a good shot from the point. And Stetcher clears out McDavid. But right there in front, Evander Kane's stick able to get loose from Andre Kopitar. Gets a little piece of it and gets around Jonathan Quick. That's after a two-on-one with McDavid. Kane, one of the few guys with the confidence. Out of this crease. Stetcher slapping it ahead. Arthur Kaliev gets it from Kapari. Kaliev shoots safe. Rebound. And just wide of the net. A great chance there for the Kings. Playing the rebound. Another shot by Stetcher. And Mike Smith's got it. Back to game six here in L.A. in a moment. Now Moore and Roy. Back for more. Off his foot. Takes a shot. Rebound for Roy. Smith scrambles. Makes the save. And a whistle behind the play. Well, Ryan Nugent Hopkins going to get the call on Grunstrom. Here's the shot coming in. Rebound. Chance by Roy. And a nice little back end. There's the cross check from Ryan Nugent Hopkins on Grunstrom's in front. Shift over shift momentum. As the Kings go to the power play for a third time in this game, 0 for 2, with three shots combined. Jersey, Kopitar back. Kempe didn't have the one-timer. Jersey does, and he scores! 
John Dersey, a power play goal, and it's two to one. Big face-off win by the LA Kings. I was wanting this shot from Dersey early in the game. He finally delivers it. There's the traffic in front. Dano Kaliev right there. And he gets all of this one-timer and finds a seam there on Mike Smith for the power play goal. We talked about this coming, why it had been stagnant. Dersey deferring, always sending it to Kopitar. This time they went to the right side, back to Dersey. Stumbles a bit, back to the point for Barry, and now McDavid on this side. Nugent Hopkins on the wing, Mc, uh, Dreisaitl, and quick has got that. Leon Dreisaitl. Pulled down early in the game with Mikey Anderson. He could be feeling that, the effects of that on a knee. Here he is trying to shoot this off the one time. As Trevor Moore can't get one away, thanks to the good back check work by McDavid. Now it's Matt Roy. Frenstrom scores! Carl Frenstrom ties it early in the third. It's 2-2. Well, what a play. Brunson's going to tap his stick, T to D, and right here he's tapping for it. He wants that little seam pass, and it, boy, it's not on his stick very long. He's, he just gets a good release. Roy finds that seam pass, and boy, goes up top over the blocker there of Mike Smith to tie the hockey game. Nice pass by Dreisaitl. McDavid skates in, saved at the other end by Jonathan Quick as the two veteran netminders trade. Big saves here. Defenseman's worst nightmare, Roy crossing over, trying to match the speed, and then just like that, McDavid cuts back. And look at the positioning there from Jonathan Quick, aggressively trying to cut down on the angle, but just pure power from McDavid. Tight turn to try and shake off Kulak. In front, loose puck, Brown, and it's saved by Smith. Dustin Brown with a chance for the go-ahead goal. Far post earlier after the CU, just trying to shoulder it in front of the net. And Dustin Brown from the sharp angle, and what a stop by Mike Smith there. And he's shut down by Tyson Berry. McDavid back at center to the Kings line. Dreisaitl flicks it back. Berry shoots and scores! Tyson Berry! And the Oilers take the lead with 5-10 to go. Well, Tyson Berry, recipient of the incredible athlete McDavid, Dreisaitl, stay out there long. They get the turnover in the neutral zone, and wow, quick coming out to cut down the angle, but Barry picks the corner to the far side, and just like that, the Oilers hold the lead. If it seems as if McDavid's been out there more than anybody, it's because he has already over 22 minutes in this hockey game. Tried to give it in stride to Kempe, but it was behind him. Now Matt Roy wants Kempe. That's off an order stick, but it's high a follow, and off the glove of Mike Smith. 40 to go on the power play. It's Kaliev again. Across, off a stick. Deno in front, and Smith denied him, but it stays in to Dersey. Athanasiu across the line, chips it behind McDavid, who gets the puck away. McDavid sends it ahead for Kane, and Evander Kane will get an empty net goal here. And with a minute left, the Oilers have a two-goal lead and apparently are on their way back home for a Game 7. And a series makes the play defensively, shuffles it up the left-hand side. Kane gets the bounce and the stick lift, and he has nothing left to do but put it in the empty net. But McDavid, yes, been doing all the things offensively. The Edmonton Oilers fend off elimination. They win Game 6. We will have three Game 7s on Saturday night.